Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. On this video, we will paint Leona's upper body from the solar eclipse skin. Without further ado, let's get to painting. Starting with a breastplate, we will cover the entire armor with iron hand steel. The few places between the armor where the cloth can be seen will be covered with Black Templar. Making a one-to-one -one mix of Abaddon Black and Screamer Pink, we will paint the frontmost piece of the breastplate. Making another one-to-one -one mix, this time of Screamer Pink and German Grey, we will paint the cloth hanging under the breastplate. We will wash the entire armor with Nuln oil to remove the sparklingness and darken the pink a bit further. With pure Screamer Pink, we will start our highlights. For the breastplate, paint the upper quarter of the dark pink, then give a second layer to half of that area. With a bit of demonet hide, we will do edge highlights to the cloth. The panels on the back will be painted with a mix of Abaddon Black and German Grey. Going back to the breastplate, with Iron Hand Steel we shall do some highlights to the raised areas. Lastly, we will do extra highlights with Storm Host Silver over the previous highlight, covering less area. Having completed the breastplate, we will now move to the pauldrons. With the Abaddon Black and German Grey mix we had made earlier, we will paint the entirety of both pieces. Using German Grey, we will do a highlights close to the edges. Applying a one-to-one -one mix of Eschen Grey and German Grey, we will go over the previous highlight, this time covering less area. Finally, using pure Eschen Grey, we will do edge highlights to the most raised areas. Moving to the lower back guard, we will base the entire piece with iron hand steel. Once it has dried, we will paint the interior with our Screamer Pink and Abaddon Black mix. We will wash the piece with known oil. Highlights will be done with Screamer Pink, avoiding painting too close to the edges as we want them dark. After we're sure that the paint has dried, 
we will do edge highlights with iron hand steel. Second layer of the highlights will be done with storm host silver. For the nape guard, you can follow the exact same steps as with a back guard. Time for the arms. Let's start with painting all the armor around them with iron hand steel. The parts between the armors will be painted with Black Templar. We will overlay all flat areas of the armor pieces with the Screamer Pink and Abaddon Black mix we made earlier. Once our colors have dried, we will wash with Gnome Oil. With Screamer Pink, we will start painting highlights on the armor. For the arm that holds the shield, it is better we only make highlights from the visible side, as the other will be obstructed by the shield. Iron Hand Steel will once again be used to assist us at making highlights on the armor. We will finalize the highlights on the armor with the use of Storm Host Silver. Paying closer attention to the shield arm, we will paint the leather straps with Rhinox Hide. We shall highlight the straps with a layer of Dumbo Brown. On the most raised areas, we will make another highlight with Scrag Brown. For the hands, we will start with Iron Hand Steel and paint all the armor parts. The non-armored parts will be painted with Black Templar. A wash in non oil is required to proceed. Going back to the iron hand steel, we will do the first layer of highlights. We'll top the last highlight with Storm Host Silver to finish the piece. For the straps on the hand with the shield, follow the steps we made earlier. The sun symbol will have a base color of Everland Sunset. a thin layer of plus gets yellow. Let's finish the sun with some highlights of Dorn Yellow. The results of our hard work are visible. Good job everyone!
All colors used in this video are on your screen now. Don't forget to like the video, comment and please consider subscribing. This was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.